Uganda, blessed by nature, is a line commonly used to illuminate, among others, the country's rich natural potential in several areas, including tourist attractions. But despite this fact, reports indicate that the country's tourism industry largely relies on national parks, pointing to gaps in other areas. Um, Action Falls National Park receives roughly 300 visitors in a day, per day. On a monthly basis, we can reach to about 8,000. With other areas recording much smaller numbers, sector observers are calling for a concerted effort to grow their attractiveness and thus the sector's contribution to the economy. Officials at the country's major national parks indicate the parks are attracting both local and foreign tourists in almost similar volumes. Those who actually visit the parks, 48% of our visitors are Ugandans and 52 are foreigners. And out of this 48%, 25% of that are students. So we are quite well balanced in terms of foreign and domestic. However, even in the midst of these positives, there are still some areas that could use some intervention if the sector is to benefit optimally. Transport is quite expensive. The accommodations is quite expensive. Actually, accommodation alone can cost close to 200, 250,000. So we think if we can address that issue of transport to the parks, we can address the issue of accommodation within the park, ordinary Ugandans will actually come to the parks. Last year alone, Uganda received up to 1.4 million foreign tourists, a figure that is not too grim. But the figure remains below potential since many areas remain unexploited. Ingrid Nantege, NTV Business.